So I feel really good on a high fat, low carb dietary approach. Picking the right fats though makes a huge difference for me when it comes to making this approach optimized for long-term skin health, gut health, and hormonal health. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite high fat, animal-based staple foods. And here's the thing that's gonna be a little different about today's video. In most of my videos, the information I present to you guys comes from two main sources. My own experience is number one, and the experience and data from the 1,500 plus people I've worked with over the last decade. So generally, the information tends to lean more towards being a meta-analysis of my successful clients more than just me sharing what works for me and what doesn't work for me. I do share that, but it's only one small piece of the data puzzle. So in today's video, I'm going to be a bit different. Instead of sharing a meta-analysis of my client's data like I normally do, I'm simply going to share my own personal staple fats, the ones I personally use on a daily, weekly basis. These are the ones that work best for me. And this is a 100% N equals one type of anecdotal share. So take it with a grain of salt and take it for what it's worth. These are my favorite five animal-based carnivore diet-ish staple fats that make me feel wonderful in my gut, my skin, and my hormones. Having a little treat today, I found a place that will make me a green tea latte with my raw cream. So I'm stoked. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. I'm really excited to share with you guys this because I don't normally just get to say, hey, here's my favorite things in the world. And so it's nice just to share with you guys straight from my own kitchen with what I'm doing. Um, for those of you though who are new to this channel, I'm gonna make this extremely brief and then I'm gonna get into those five foods. So I used to have severe skin issues, just like you guys watching this video most likely. And through a combination of behavioral science and yoga therapy, I created a system for customizing the diet and it's a customized healing process. You customize the diet, it heals the gut biome, heals the hormones and it heals the skin. Luckily for me, I've been skin disease free. I used to have eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis for almost a decade. And during this time, I've been writing books, creating courses, and working as the top consultant for people looking to naturally heal their skin. And I've had the pleasure of working with over 1,500 people, helping them naturally heal eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, hormonal issues, and gut health issues. I'd like to say welcome to the channel, and I wish you guys luck in your healing journey. Let's jump in and I want to share with you guys my five favorite animal-based high fat staple foods. It's almost like a song. All right, let's get to it. If you guys stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to let you know the real, and I'm talking the 100% truth reason um, that these foods actually make my list because it's has nothing to do with nutrients, although the nutrients are wonderful. So you might want to stick around for that little interesting tidbit at the end um, if you're feeling tantalized. Food number one, if you guys watch my videos, especially my What I Ate Today videos, this will be no surprise. I eat between three and 10 of these things every single day. It's raw egg yolks from pasture raised eggs. Simply put, the hormonal boost you get from the cholesterol, the saturated fat, the aminos, everything about the egg yolk is skin health, gut health, hormonal producing. It's, it is amazing for all of those things. It's super nourishing for all of those things. And for me personally, I've never felt anything that I can eat and feels like medication. So when I eat egg yolks, I actually get lifted from it. It feels a little bit like caffeine. My brain turns on, I can feel my hormones turn on. And one of my most favorite things is when I have these types of fats in my system, especially enough cholesterol, and I go out in the sun, the way it hits my body and the way it feels is totally different. I have a different coloration. Um, the way that the vitamin D is created hormonally in my body is exponentially faster and better and stronger. So number one, egg yolks, raw. So high fat staple food number two for me is raw local grass fed cream. This stuff is 
been one of my most favorite um, findings ever in my dietary exploration life. Raw cream, the source that I get it from is super clean. It's grass-fed cows, A2 producing. And the thing about cream is that there's, even for those of you guys who have problems with lactate and lactose, it's whipping cream, it's full fat cream. There's no carbs, there is no protein in it. So there is no lactate and there's no lactose. So it's pure fat. It is a ginormous source of calories. We're talking in one tablespoon, upwards of 80 to 70 calories and one tablespoon of raw cream. So a cup of it does you really, really good. Um, it is amazing to make drinks with. It's amazing to mix with egg yolks. It's amazing to add to eggs to make them fluffy. I do raw cream every day and I really don't know what I would do without it. I love it. If you're gonna do any type of cream or dairy on your dietary exploration, you have to make sure it's sourced really well. Raw is law with milk. Um, I, if it's not raw I, and it's milk, I won't really mess with it. Um, and it has to be grass-fed A2 cows. Sourcing milk is of the utmost importance. So my favorite high fat staple food number three is very similar to number two, so I hope this doesn't bore you, but my goodness, do I love some raw local goat butter, which has been hard to find lately, but when I can get it, I stock up on it, and I love eating that stuff. The goat butter has a slightly different taste, a little gamier maybe, um, depending on what the little goaties are eating, you can really change the color and the taste of the butter. Um, last time I was in Phoenix, Arizona, I had a goat butter source that was like a sweet, delicious goat butter, and that was absolutely amazing. So staple food number three, fats, goat butter for me. So a lot of people don't think of this as a high fat staple food, but if you eat enough of it, the fat content is so good and easy to assimilate and digest that my high fat staple food number four is bone marrow. I especially love to eat bone marrow raw and fresh. It is like a animal custard jelly deliciousness and for me it's just like magic, kind of like egg yolks. When I do raw marrow, the energy that it provides for my body is palpable. I can feel it, it feels good, it actually provides for me a boost, and I love the way it tastes. It's interesting that a lot of these animal foods, once you get deeper into the dietary protocols, are actually really sweet and actually taste really, really good. And high fat staple food number five for me personally, and I know this one is boring and that's why I gave it to you guys last, is I love salmon and yellowtail. So fish, fatty fish, especially in sashimi form, raw. I can easily eat three to four pounds of raw sashimi in one sitting, no problem. Absolutely no problem. And when I do that, I feel freaking good for about five days afterwards. So when I can source sashimi, salmon and yellowtail, I will eat it in huge abundance. It doesn't happen as often as I'd like. So I also supplement my fish intake with some smoked salmon here and there, and also just some grilled fish whenever I can get my hands on it. So um, that's my list. Now, for those of you guys who are tantalized in the beginning, um, why do these foods make my list in the first place? And I've been sharing with you the nutrients that I like and the reasons I like them, but truly, why are these staple foods staple foods? And that's coming up right now. What's the real reason for these high fat choices? It might surprise you. Because um, the reason is, they obviously have to be clean foods and non-trigger foods and nourishing healthy foods, so that's kind of established. But these fats actually taste great and are easy to source. That's huge, it may seem simple, but it's huge. They have the exact nutrients I'm looking for for skin health and gut health and hormonal health. And like I said, it tastes wonderful to me and I can find these foods pretty much anywhere. They have been thoroughly tested with my biomarker system, so it's like a no brainer. They work perfect. I can find them anywhere. They taste really good, so it's easy to sustain. The most important fact, though, is that they make me feel great. These fats elevate my mood, my hormones, my sleep, everything. They are biofeedback success, and that's why they are staple foods. Let me repeat that. They are a biofeedback slash biomarker success, and that's why they are staple foods. I suggest if you don't understand what I'm talking about, research my channel. The customization process of the diet is 
the behavioral science slash yoga therapy model that I've created that helps people heal their skin for life. Customization of the diet is the main part of that diet that will set you free. We use a system of biofeedback and biomarkers to judge progress. It's a black and white formula that is basically your body telling you what to eat. So I've gone through that experience with these fats. They work perfectly, they're delicious, I'm rambling. I love you guys. I wish you all the best of luck on your journey, whether it's a high fat, low carb, whether it's keto, animal based, the customization diet approach using all of that hybrid style. I wish you guys luck. Um, leave your comments and questions down below. Subscribe and share, hit the notifications, all that good stuff. For those of you who are looking for a little extra help, who wanna take things to the next level and need a guide, there are all my offerings are in the description box. One-on-one -on -one coaching, um, the three phases workbook, which is a step-by-step -step guide for naturally healing your skin with the customized diet approach. That will be turning into an um, online six-week class very soon. And last but not least, in the description box is Skenessa, the finest probiotic that focuses on skin, digestion, and overall health. I take it every day. It's wonderful. Have a great day, guys. Peace.